After examining the functions f of x is equal to natural log of x plus 2 and g of x is equal to e to the x minus 1 over the interval negative 2 to 3, Lexi determined that the correct number of solutions to the equation f of x equal to g of x is. So just to comment on why this interval here is provided, uh, and if you notice, the negative 2 is exclusive, whereas the 3 is inclusive. And the reason for that is the natural log, the domain, is restricted. Like, we uh, cannot go below negative 2. Actually, we cannot, reach, we cannot reach negative 2. If x were to equal to negative 2, then we would be taking a natural log of 0, and that would be undefined. So that's the reason for why we are excluding negative 2. To solve this problem because you don't have any uh, real tools um, at hand to do this, uh, you have to use a graphing calculator. Okay, so let's go to our graphing calculators. I've already entered in the equation into y equals, so you should do the same. So I entered in, I press y equals, and then I entered in the equation. And I graph this first at a standard zoom setting. And immediately you can see that this graph looks very bunched up. So I'm going to press window now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pop in the, um, the domain that they specified, which was negative 2 to 3. Actually, I'm going to go in a little further. I'm going to put, pop in actually negative 3 to positive 4. Why? Because I want to see, you know, I want to see... Um, like everything, uh, not just uh, that tight little domain that they're giving us. Uh, and also judging from the picture from before, the two graphs uh, seem to spread far apart really, really quickly. So I'm gonna put my y min at negative four and my y max at positive four, and let's take a look. If we need to adjust, we can readjust. Okay. So I will actually readjust this too, because I, I, I see here that there is going to be an intersection that will happen um, in the, either in the uh, second or third quadrant. So I'm going to readjust this, and I will make this negative 2, whoops, and positive 2. Let's take a look at that. Whoa, did not mean to do that. So this is going to be 4, and the y max should be positive 2. Let's look at that again. Okay, so I can see it clearer now that there is going to be two points of intersection. Right? So the question doesn't really ask us to identify what the point of intersections are, just how many times they intersect. I can see that they will intersect twice.